So the next concept is removal of one term. So as we saw for addition of one term, so you may get questions like removal of one term also and you will be asked to find average for that. So we will see this with an example. Say for example, in a group of 12 girls, average marks in English is 50. As one girl leaves the school, the average is increased by 2. So what is the mark obtained by the girl who left? So we will see the working. Say so average of 12 girls, so in English subject is given as 50. So in this group, one girl leaves the group, so number of terms is 1 less and it becomes 11. So now for 11 terms average, as it increased by 2, new average is 50. So it's not that always, when the one term is included, average will decrease. Suppose you are removing a data which is very low value, which is of low value, average, may de uh, average will also increase. So now to find the mark of the girl who left, so following the same procedure, we find sum of uh, 12 terms and from that we subtract sum of 11 terms so we get the mark of the girl who left. So we can get from this the removed term. So now sum of 12 terms is got by so multiplying this 12 with 50 minus this 11 with 52. But instead of doing all this working, so by using the same shortcut which we used in the previous concept, that is addition of one term, so you can use that also here for removal of one term. So I will give you the shortcut and then we will see how to apply it. So here as you are removing one term, So remove term equal to new average So earlier for addition of one term we, uh, we wrote new average plus that expression Here as you are removing one term it will be new average minus So for removing one term we subtract number of terms present earlier into plus or minus the change in average. So the same concept we have used here for removal of one term also. So that is new average. So as we are removing it is minus here. So please note that this negative sign is for the removed term. So number of terms present earlier plus or minus change in average. So when average increases you take the positive sign and suppose if average decreases you take the minus sign. So now we will see how to apply this shortcut and find the removed term. So here new average, so what is the new average? So new average is the one which we get for 11 terms, so that it is 52, earlier it was 50, increased by 2, so new average is 52, so as we have removed one term, so you write minus, so number of terms present earlier, earlier we had 12 terms, so you should write only 12 for that place. And change in average, so as it has increased, so value will be plus 2. So now the removed term is 52 minus, so number of terms present earlier into change in average. So which is equal to 52 minus 12 into 2, 24. By subtracting, so we get the removed term is 28. So now we have found the removed term without doing all this working. 
by using this shortcut. So a new average is 52, number of terms present earlier is 12, so a change in average is 2. As it is increased by 2, it is 2 and here you have to subtract because you are removing one term and the removed term is 28. So now we will see the shortcut. So to find the removed term which is equal to new average so minus so please note that so whenever you are removing a term so you have to take the negative sign minus number of terms present earlier into plus or minus change in average. So now we will see the next concept replacing of one term. 